Shave Company. They sent me not one, but two packages. That is awesome. They wanted me to show and try out their murdered blackout signature safety razor. Now, if you guys know me a little bit, you know that I'm a huge fan of the old fashioned guys, you know, the I'm gonna murder you in your sleep kind of shave. I don't typically use a safety razor just because, I don't know, I'm old fashioned that way. I prefer to slow down my processes. I'm not all about the speed. I'm all about the experience and actually putting my life in my own hands with using one of these. But as you guys know, I do use a Chevette from time and again. I use a Derby blade in there. It's just a good all purpose one. I, I will tell you to be fair, Derby, I have had a couple of bad blades in my box. I mean, I, you, for a little box like this, I mean, you get like a hundred of them. Uh, so, uh, Tampa Shave knew that, old Brian Abernathy down there, uh, and he sent me what he prefers to use in his uh, barber shop. So um, these are the Dorco Prime Platinums. He sent me a hundred count of them, and uh, this will actually work out pretty good. So if you do use a Chevette, you can always buy double-edged blades and snap them in half for your Chevette. They also sent me a new thing that they're carrying, which I've been dying to get my hands on for a long time, is Simpsons. Simpsons is probably the best shave brush you can possibly have in your cabinet. My personal favorite, which is the Chubby 2. I could just lather with this all day. All day. Since 4000 BC, we have been creating devices that help us shave uh, all the way back to where you can find uh, straight shaving equipment uh, in the Egyptian pharaoh's tombs. You can watch history shift just by watching the history of straight razors to safety razors. We have shifted away from moving from time for ourselves, work-life balance, uh, to the industrialized worlds of faster equals better, and it's not. Uh, I mean, who wants to be shaving with something that uh, vibrates? I mean, I can only think of a vibrator being used for one specific thing, and it sure as fuck isn't uh, shaving. When you go and you take uh, a shaving to the extreme of straight razor shaves and even chevettes, is you are taking the time to overcome fear, to overcome the villainry that's been put because of the images that have been put into our head uh, or even getting a straight razor shave from somebody else the th getting over the thought that you're putting your life in somebody else's hands and everything's going to be okay and the ability to reflect your, uh, into a mirror at yourself wielding something that is just um, is a surgical tool you know, you could cut off a limb with one. You could die from one, but it's not happening to you today. And, and it's giving you the opportunity to say, not only is that going well, but you're able to dig into yourself and check out yourself uh, for some of your innermost thoughts that you really wanted to address, that reflection, that peace of mind, that meditation that we get from that process. I'm okay with using a safety razor. Uh, and if I were to have one, it would definitely be this one. I am proud to have Tampa Shave Company's safety razor in my medicine cabinet. This thing is awesome, and I'm going to show you how good of a job this thing does. So to give you guys an idea of what I am shaving off with the safety razor, I don't know how well you guys can see that. This is about maybe two days worth of shave. It takes me a while to grow facial hair. So. To get started, I'm going to use the Titan Bar of Soap that came with it as just a, a pre-wash. I have not had a shower. I usually do take a shower. And um, really, I'm just going to take the bar lightly and uh, just kind of wash my face off, wash my chin off, get some of the impurities. I like having a nice, clean surface to work with. And the smell of the stuff is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mmm, nice and clean, kind of like a barber shop kind of smell. It's awesome. For this shave, I'm going to use the Parasso system. This is the uh, sensitive. Uh, it's got green tea oil in it. And um, I'm just going to take a little bit like this and put it on my face. I am super stoked about this. This is the uh, new Badger brush that Tampa Shave Company sent me. This thing is going to be awesome. Look how thick that is and how much shave soap it's going to hold. I'm going to use the Parasso Matching Shave Soap. 
and I've put about an almond size dollop in the bottom of my bowl. That Simpsons Chubby Brush holds a lot of water, so make sure to get as much excess out as you can. And I'm just going to mix this stuff up just like this. Awesome! I'd rather have a little less water than uh, too much water, because uh, you can always add some as you're going to make your little lather. But look how easy this is making this lather using Parasso and the Simpsons Chubby 2 Best Badger. I mean, this thing is already loaded and ready to go. Oh yeah! Isn't that freaking awesome? Look how much is going on, and I could just, mmm. Look how much froth I just squirted out of this thing. <laughs> this badger brush has got almost too much lather stuck up inside of it. Mmm, I could just lather with this thing all day long. Ah, oh, that's so relaxing. Go ahead and get our blacked out Tampa Shave Company safety razor, nice and hot and preheated. I love a hot shave. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this side. You're gonna put your safety razor just like this and you're gonna tilt up. And you'll hear it scraping where the blade is actually digging in. You don't have to stretch your skin quite as much, but I tend to do so. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. And if you think it's got too much soap, just quickly switch it over to the other side. It's a whole lot faster than using a chevette or a straight razor. I'm going to clean off my passes there to see where I need to stop. And it's probably just as good if you're trying to make some straight lines or other pretty designs in your beard, mustache, goatee, what have you. And you can see how, what the angle is that I'm using this thing at. Again, it's getting itself loaded up there. Flip it over to the other side and keep on going. I'll go ahead and finish off the entire shave so I didn't miss a spot. And there you have it, a one pass shave with the Tampa Shave Company's murdered out, blackout safety razor. Talking baby smooth, one pass. That Dorco blade, I'd highly recommend it. Show you guys how much is still in my Chubby Simpson 2. Look at that. Gonna finish off this shave with a little Parasso matching green tea aftershave balm. And this stuff smells awesome. Unreal. So if you're looking for a really well-priced shave for a safety razor and you want an awesome device to wield in your hand, check out Tampa Shave Company's Blacked Out Signature Line.